Hello, hello everyone, this is Gustavo and I'm back with a... I'll try to make it short, but I think I'll, I'll run over five minutes. Anyways, this is a quick summary of the week. I have run the MPP Solar Patrol software for the whole week. And... Well, I'll, I'll show you some the numbers right now, but basically it was not a nice week for solar. I'll show you my energy usage on grid here. But basically talking about numbers here, I the pit produced 28 kilowatt hours this whole week and I have been monitoring the kid and at the end of the day the kid did produce just as much power as the pip so this number right here 28 kilowatt hours I can easily double that and that's the the amount of energy that it was produced, be the solar energy that was produced between the kid and the pip. So that's, let's call it 57 kilowatt hours. All right, now there's the line energy there. I never had, I actually, this was the first week I actually went off grid and I was running the pip and I was running the pip in line mode, as I am right now, I'm running the pip in line mode because on Sunday and Monday, they were very cloudy days and on Friday and today again, on Saturday, were very cloudy so I actually ran the pip off-grid and I did try to charge the batteries off-grid using my my off-grid tariff so here's a look of um, in my and my energy consumption for the week this was last sunday the first day that was recording data with the with the mpp solar patrol software as you can see on last Sunday I did spend 11 kilowatt hours from the grid and it was a kind of a cloudy day so you can see here I actually when I know it's going to be a, a difficult day for solar I actually as soon as I wake up and have my breakfast I change over the water heater to the line since I have two recipes to to the plug, I just unplug from off grid and I plug it into on grid, and so I let it run because I have a dual tariff here to 1 p.m. So as you can see here on Sunday, I ran the water heater from 10 to probably 12 p.m. And then again at night, this pick here, it was probably due, it was probably due because I left the water heater and there was a demand for water heating and so it just turned on. So we look again on Monday. Again, it's the same deal on Monday. I actually spend much more than I then 11 kilowatt hours i spent 22 kilowatt hours on from the grid and again as you can see eight nine in the morning there this is this is the water heater and everything going on actually yes and it was a cloudy day on tuesday On Tuesday again, it was kind of a cloudy day, so this was actually my mistake. I did not 
move the water heater to the grid but somehow in my mind I thought if I just put the timer that I have on in the in the water heater plug I thought oh yeah I mean that that's overnight and and the next day I realized that it was actually running off grid for the first hour here and then the batteries got low and so it, it went it changed over to line mode and so this was the water heating here and again on Tuesday I spent 22 kilowatt hours from the grid on Wednesday on Wednesday it was a beautiful perfect solar day you see I only spent 10 kilowatt hours on Wednesday so as you can see there's very little demand here this is my lights that are on grid so during the night there's lots of consumption and right now the sun rises here between 8 30 and 9 p a.m so this, the lights are turned off and this is basically the standby consumption and you see only 800 kilo only 800 watt hours of consumption there it's between 2 and 3 p.m cooking is going on there okay on thursday again on thursday was a very nice solar day again you can see i only spent 10 kilowatt hours on wednesday from the grid and again this the peak of demand here is between 1 and 2 p.m and that comes from the cooking and and washing that we do between that time now we go up to friday friday was again a cloudy day so since I knew it was going to be cloudy and rainy I did move the water heater over to off to the grid so we see this all this here is the water heater and then some cooking but at least the the swimming pool pump was running off grid on Friday again I had a very a double consumption of what I had on Wednesday or Thursdays they were perfect solar days I mean I have told you before that we never get any any rainy days here but this week was a really an exception and again today today actually it was the first day I actually charged the batteries on purpose using the pip so I charged them so this is the peak here of three and a half kilowatt hours I was charging the batteries the swimming pool pump was running the water heater was going so you can see there but basically I uh, it's just quick summary is that uh, the pip produces just as much energy from the kid as the kid so this week it was a it was not as usual here we usually don't have this much this much of uh, this much of uh, cloudy days but we had four five cloudy days this week so it was not nice for solar all right, I'm almost topping up 10 minutes here and as you can see, usually other days in October I had a very mild consumption, most was 17 kilowatt hours and then last Monday and Tuesday it was totally cloudy and yesterday Friday and today Saturday, so I had to run off grid at least I have some great news um, I'll be getting not 3,000 watts of panels I'm be getting 3,700 panels watts of panels installed by December I hope have a good day everyone I hope you enjoyed it goodbye